This is Manit from the RF Education Channel and welcome to another session of how to do things in Parallel Intuit Framework. Today we are going to talk about task method inside Qt Concurrent Framework. This method provides an alternative interface for running a task in a separate thread. The return value of the function is made available through QFuture API and we talked about it in previous sessions, how we can get results from QFuture and also how to use QFuture Watcher to take control over the concurrent execution. If you want to just run a function in a separate thread without adjusting any parameters, you can just use Qt concurrent run method as that lets you write less code. The task method is designed for cases where you need to perform extra configuration steps. Task method returns an instance of an auxiliary class called QTask Builder inside Qt Concurrent uh, Framework. Normally, you don't need to create an instance of this class manually. The QTask Builder provides an interface to adjust different task parameters in a chain-like manner. This approach is known as Fluent Interface. You can just set the parameters you need to and then kick the task off. In order to finalize the configuration of a task, you must invoke a spawn method of QTask Builder. This function is non-blocking, but it's not guaranteed that the task starts immediately. You can use QFuture and QFuture Water classes to monitor the status of the task. So let's go to Qt Creator and see some examples about how this method is going to help us to run things in parallel in Qt Framework. Okay, let's see how we can create a task in Qt. If you followed my channel and watched the previous session on uh, how to do things in parallel in Qt, you might already know that we have a project, uh, or I created a project, a Qt widget application project, and add a different part of uh, Qt concurrent framework in different dialogues inside this project. So, uh, for this session, I'm going to create another dialogue. The name is uh, uh, what? Let's choose. Mm, oops. Let's change the language task menu task demo dialog yeah let's change the name notation to something like this and that's it so yeah i'm gonna first create a button uh the name is uh, demo or task one i'm gonna create uh, or um, uh, add a couple of button on the form and check different uh, usage of uh, task method in practice and simultaneously I'm going to add a button here, the name is message1. I'm going to see if the things are really done inside another thread or not. So I should be able to click the message1 and see something in the output. So let's change the name to btn task1 and also this one to btn message1. Message1 and also let's change the main entry point of the program from this form or this dialog to Task demo dialog W. I'm gonna set the name to W and include the header files. So that's it. Save all and here. Let's create a slot for these two buttons. This one and this one. And here I'm gonna just call QDebug and print a simple message. Uh, message one in the console. And in the task one, I'm gonna create a task uh, I'm going to call the task method inside Qt concurrent and create or do something in parallel for this purpose I'm going to call Qt concurrent task method here I can pass a lambda expression if you are new to lambda expression I suggest to watch uh, two videos about uh, this feature in my channel also I uh, covered uh, the main topics about uh, this feature in those videos so here we need to open and close a bracket. We don't need to capture any values. And uh, because we don't have any input parameters, we can omit uh, parentheses or you can use it. But if sometimes you see something like this, it's okay because we don't have any parameters. Or you can just pass an empty uh, parameter section. So I'm not gonna use that section here. Here I'm gonna say QDebug task one that's it and uh, let's bring the header file ok 
substitute concurrent. And also let's save the result. We don't have result, but let's save it to ignore some warning at runtime. And uh, let's remove it to see what we have. Okay, let's run the application. Oh, I forgot to tell you. If you create uh, till now, it's same as run method. But if you want to run the task, you should call the spawn method. Okay. Let's run it. Okay, message one is very obvious. Let's clear the output. And if I uh, press task one, you can see task one appeared inside the console. So let's also create a delay here. I'm going to use Qthread. I may sleep, for example, three seconds. After three seconds, I'm going to print this message in the console. Now um, let's run the application one more time. Here I press task 1, meantime I can press task 2 and after 3 seconds, uh, or me message 1, I'm sorry, and after 3 seconds message 1 will be appeared in the console. So one more time, here our UI is not blocked and we do things in parallel in another window. And if you want to see more precisely, I can create a for loop here, for example from 1, 0 to 5. and. I'm going to print the war also, and between each call, I'm going to sleep for one second. Now that's it. If I press run, if I press task one, something happened, and meantime, I can press message one also. So this is the way, this is the uh, First way that we can use task method, passing a lambda expression, and after that we need to call a span method to run the thread. The next topic is how we can pass parameter to a function inside the task method. For this purpose, let's comment these lines and create or copy these lines one more time and change it a little bit. I'm going to create a task a lambda expression so it's a lambda expression I don't need to capture anything as input I'm gonna receive a qstring named s and I'm gonna uh, print it in the console hello plus the input s so that's it. now I'm gonna create another task I mm, forgot so we don't need to declare lambda expression here so I'm gonna uh, use task here I created the task already and when we want to pass a parameter we can use dot Oops, let's move this task to this object and I'm gonna call with arguments and pass one argument for input parameter here for imp uh, for parameter s so I'm gonna provide my name as a string and here we have a fluent interface we can uh, create uh, something with chain of methods so let's run the application and see the output So that's it. As you can see, Vahid passed as an argument to this Lambda expression and it's run on another thread. 
again you can check or you can uh, create a pause here Q thread MSLIP for three seconds and after that print or do these um, things So um, here I'm going to call task and you can print message and after three seconds hello wait will be appeared inside the console. So our UI won't block because we run it in another thread. The next item is uh, how to pass parameter by reference. For example, here I'm not going to print it. I'm just going to append uh, something to the received parameter for example s dot append s dot append and uh, let's remove the const s dot append uh, for example world that and here let's create a parameter string name equal to Vahid and I'm gonna pass it as the name and let's see what we want to do we want to say result result dot wait let's also bring Q future and call result dot wait wait for finished or beat the application well yeah here we need to use std ref I forgot to pass it as a reference and then I'm gonna say result dot wait for finished and after that I'm gonna say QDebug name so using uh, this notation passing parameter as reference we can change the content of a variable inside our task and return it back to the main environment of the program so I'm gonna run task one we wait for finished so UI freeze and after that you can see Vahid plus world will be appeared inside the console so this is the way that we can change a value inside the um, task method and what if we want to return a value from our task uh, let's comment all these parts and I'm gonna create another task auto result equal to queued concurrent task method here we have we don't need to have any input parameter and I'm just gonna return for example 35 as the output and then call the spawn method now let's see um, QDebug result dot result you can get the result through QFuture and if you're not familiar with QFuture I have another video about QFuture in my channel and you can watch it and also let's call result that wait for finished okay we call task one as you can see 35 returned from the concurrent execution here and uh, we can also call methods of other class inside task menu what does it mean imagine that I want to do a lengthy operation of another class inside a thread so 
for this purpose I'm gonna use the chop method of QA string for example I have a uh, string I have a QA string this is my name equal to Mahid Rahmani Fard and also I attach my age into this string so there's extra three characters at the end these three characters and I want to remove it so imagine that it's a lengthy operation and we want to do it in other thread in another thread so for this purpose it's enough to say cute concurrent give me a task and uh, to run this task we need to pass the address of that method the method is located inside the QS string class QS string and the method is chop so I'm gonna call chop method of QS string what's the parameter we need to use with arguments and here I'm gonna pass the name and the number of characters I want to remove so it's three I want to remove three characters from the end of the string and after that I'm gonna run the thread and after that I'm gonna wait for finish that's it so we don't have any output uh, the uh, remove uh, and the update of the string will be taking place and here I'm just going to call QDebug and see what happened to name variable let's run the application and if I press task 1 you can see um, 35 removed from the end of the string so this is the way that we can run me uh, method from other classes lengthy method in another thread so imagine that it's a lengthy method we can also set priorities for uh, our task using uh, with priority and pass a number as the priority of our thread and if you want to make a thread or a task uh, priority higher than the others you need to pass large number here inside the with priority method for example 10 for this one and 1 2 3 for the other ones this is the way that you can set the priority for your thread and let's check one more thing and end this session here I create a task that uh, the task doesn't uh, return anything here if I don't want to set the result we can see compiler going to warning us uh, that ignoring return value of uh, something so here I need to pass a parameter here it's an enum um, it says future result future result inside cute concurrent and use ignore by passing uh, this parameter to a spawn method we're going to say that this task won't return anything so you need uh, you don't need to wait for any return values instead of saving uh, nothing inside a, f a queue future uh, here that we uh, that we did before so this is the way that you can ignore the output and get your environment out of a warning from the compiler so that's it that's uh, the way that we can use task to do things in parallel in Qt framework I hope you enjoy the content and let me know if you want uh, to add another thing to this uh, task method in the comment section till next session goodbye